Most people think we feel hungover with sickness, tiredness, headaches, purely due to the dehydration caused by alcohol. But there's a lot more going on than that. So I'll go through all of the effects that alcohol is having on your brain and body, and the tricks you can use to help you never feel hungover again. Although it's not 100% guaranteed. But remember, always drink responsibly. So alcohol does have a sensitive effect that makes us feel sleepy but it also is able to disrupt our actual sleep cycle. It disrupts the amount of time we spend in our dreaming state, which is our rapid eye movement or REM stage of sleep, which I've done a full video on already, so if you want to see that, just click up here. And it increases the amount of time we spend in our slow wave or deep sleep. This can make us feel more tired and fatigued because it's disrupting our normal sleep cycle and we're spending a lot less time in our REM phase of sleep, which we need to be in for multiple hours to make us feel like we've had a good rest. It's also able to alter our circadian rhythm in terms of body temperature control. Alcohol induces a body temperature that's abnormally low whilst drinking alcohol and abnormally high the day after. And that's why the day of our hangover, we often call it the alcohol sweats. This happens for a couple different reasons. Firstly, we're making our liver work harder than it normally does to metabolize all the alcohol we're consuming. And because metabolism's higher, it produces more heat as a byproduct. And once we've reached our limit of how fast we can break down the alcohol, the remainder is just floating around in our bloodstream. So alongside the liver producing more heat, alcohol being in our bloodstream actually causes something called vasodilation, dilation of the blood vessels, and causes them to rise to near the surface of our skin, which in turn makes our skin feel warmer. And it also induces us to sweat, both of which are regulatory methods to lower our body temperature. And that's where the term alcohol sweats comes from. Another key thing alcohol does is it disrupts our central nervous system, specifically by altering the number of GABA and glutamate neurotransmitters in our brain. In simple terms, GABA neurotransmitters are the ones that slow down nerve cell activity, whereas glutamate do the opposite and increase nerve cell activity. Now, when you're drinking a load of alcohol, the body decreases the number of GABA receptors in the brain and increases the number and sensitivity of glutamate receptors. Because of this, once alcohol is removed from the body, the central nervous system is in kind of like an overdrive state. And due to this is the exact reason why we get things like tremors, sweating, and a really fast heart rate during our period of hangover. And another reason that people get really bad hangover sometimes is something that can't be controlled. So alcohol is metabolized in lots of different ways, but one of the key ones is through an enzyme called alcohol dehydrogenase. This is an enzyme produced in our liver that breaks down ethanol into something called acetaldehyde, which is technically a poison and carcinogen. And this is subsequently converted and excreted by our body. The point being, some people have variants of this alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme, which can either work faster or work slower than the average. So if you're someone with a slower working ADH enzyme, the acetaldehyde and ethanol will be in your bloodstream and in your cells for longer, which you've probably guessed will make you feel more hungover. Now, as I mentioned, that's something some people can't control, but there are things we can control. The first one is what we actually drink. So it's known that alcohols with a higher level of something called congeners, which are things like acetaldehyde and methanol, which are formed during different distillation and fermentation processes, actually lead to increased hangover symptoms because they compete with the ethanol to be broken down by the alcohol dehydrogenase. And this means that the ethanol will stay in your body for longer because it's not being broken down and will lead to worse hangover symptoms. So things like red wine and colored distilled spirits like rum will have a much higher concentration of these congeners than things like clear distilled spirits like vodka. So basically drinking things like beer and distilled vodka should give you less hangover symptoms than things like red wine, whiskey, and rum. Another thing we can do is prevent the dehydration that's caused by alcohol. Alcohol causes us to urinate more and sweat more, both of which cause us to become dehydrated. Having less water in your blood and in your cells causes things like your muscles to feel fatigued, you to feel excessively thirsty, and it can give you a headache. So the best things you can do is either drink one glass of water between every alcoholic drink you have, because this not only hydrates you, but it also means that you're spending more time between drinking alcoholic beverages, so it gives your liver more time to break down the ethanol. Doing this alongside drinking loads of water prior to going to bed and during the next day means that your cells are replenished with water so you're rehydrated and you won't get the symptoms caused by dehydration. And the final way you can prevent hangover symptoms is eating some types of carbohydrates. And you probably already know that, but do you know why? Well, actually eating carbohydrates in general only really replenishes the sugar stores in your body that are lost due to the alcohol you've, due to the alcohol you've been drinking. So carbohydrates only really help with feeling less nauseated the next day and less fatigued. But actually the best foods you can possibly eat are those high in things called zinc 
and nicotinic acid. And a large scale study was done on this. The outcomes being that those people eating foods with lots of zinc and nicotinic acid in had better hangover symptoms the next day compared to the people who didn't. And the reason this happens is because zinc and nicotinic acid are able to help the liver break down ethanol and acetaldehyde, meaning they stay in your system for less time, giving you less hangover symptoms. So technically the best foods you can possibly eat after an alcohol binge, which I'm not recommending by the way, things like chicken, whole grain rice, peanuts, avocados, lentils, and beans. All of these are high in zinc and nicotinic acid and will help break down the alcohol you've been consuming. So in summary, drink a lot of water if you're going to be drinking alcohol at all. Choose alcohol based on how clear it is, so things like vodka rather than rum and whiskey, and eat foods high in zinc and nicotinic acid. But as I said, make sure you're only drinking if you're 18 years or older in the UK and 21 years or older in the US. So yeah, if you did enjoy, make sure to like and sub as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.